Hi, Dyslexic Genius here at Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. Well, I finished the Edison home, and we've done a run on working on the home, talking about how to do things on an Edison home. And this is about 100 hours of work. And this is what it should look like after you've restored your phonograph. It should be totally clean. And one little interesting thing about the mandrel on this early, early home, you see this line right here in the mandrel right here? See that little, little line? Well, they attached an end piece to it. And Edison, you'll find this on Edison machines where he was trying to save money. They wouldn't waste anything back then. I polished all this, all this nickel out. The only thing I've nickel plated is this screw and the on-off switch on this. On the reproducer, these early ones like this, they originally had a glass diaphragm in them, and I put in an original copper diaphragm, but I cleaned it into sudsing ammonia. Everything is done. It looks, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And this is probably what they looked like when they were new. I also, I talked about the nut on the speed control right here. You see that's tight. And down in here, you can see that little nut. I put, I put that in. Also, you know, the speed control, we don't have on off switch right here. We don't have a felt piece. It just, metal just hits on to the felts of the governor speed. And you turn it on. And that's how it works. And it, here, you hear it. You see the little bit of line right here when I turn the machine on? You'll see a little bit of oil line in here. Well, I don't oil these with regular sewing machine oil or grease. I use STP. I put a little drop on that. And you see the early motors have this, these brass weights and we have the nickel tag here in the front and not back here. Back here is later. You also on this, it's called a skeleton case home. You'll see this big opening in here. And they didn't make these very long. This is very early production of Edison homes. Also, when you look at the belting, this is back down in here. You can see this is the right position of the belt. Everything is dialed in. I don't glue my belts. I sew them together. There we go. I sew, I sew the belts together like they were originally. You want to make sure when you do restorations on your machines, you want them very, very clean. You want to get all the crud and dirt off this. You know, I love this hobby. I want to show you what almost 100 hours of work will do. We kind of make it look really easy, you know, two, three, four minutes in a video. But there's a lot of time behind the scenes working, cleaning, polishing, and doing everything else. And my sweet angel helps me and loves to watch me work. And that's my tip for the day.